All right, welcome to my garage gym. It is not fancy, but it gets the job done. I'm Coach Erin. Today I have an eight minute ab circuit for you. This is really good if you are just starting or it's really good for active recovery day. Like me today, I just need to do something to move. It's been busy and this is all I got. <laughs> so this is my workout for the day. Um, it's small, but I like to be consistent. And then finally, it, if you like to use this as a warm up before you're gonna exercise, it's a good way to activate the core. So without further ado, eight exercises, 50 seconds on, so 50 seconds of work, and then about 10, 10 seconds to transition into the next exercise. So we're just gonna keep going, no repeats. Again, if you wanna repeat this workout, that would be a good way to make it longer. I am gonna use one dumbbell for one exercise if you don't have it, don't worry about it. If you wanna pause the video real quick, you can go and grab one. Again, it's not necessary. I'm using an eight pound dumbbell. If you're a beginner, use less than that. If you're advanced, use more. Okay, so let's get started. You ready? We're starting with a reverse crunch. So you're gonna lay down on your back and I got my interval timer ready to go. Palms by your side. We will inhale to lift our knees up and exhale to tap the heels down. So inhale, lift, exhale, lower. That might feel like a different breathing pattern for you, but we're working on that eccentric phase of this movement. Now, if this bothers your back, you might need a little more padding underneath. Breathe through the nose if you can. And it's just a lift and a slow lower, exhaling to lower the legs. Nice. Keep moving. Lift and lower. Getting a nice stretch for the low back. So this is a spinal flexion. You're stretching that low back. So our next movement here is where I'm going to use that dumbbell. I'm gonna bring it up overhead. Knees come up. So as the leg goes out, the arms go overhead. I'm going to keep my back flat. And again, it's an inhale, exhale to reach, excuse me, inhale, come back to center. Exhale, extend, inhale, back to center. Exhale, extend, inhale, back to center. If you want to make this harder, you can lift your head. Just keep the gaze straight up towards the ceiling. Inhale, center, exhale, extend through the nose. Inhale, center, exhale, extend. Inhale, center, exhale, extend. Try to keep that back flat. You can keep the legs up a little higher or take the arms out completely. All right, nice job. Next movement we're doing is just a hold. It's called a hollow hold. So we want to lower the legs down to about 45 degrees, keeping the back flat, engage the core. You can keep the head down or lift up and hold. I like to just keep the gaze down towards the belly here. You can even look at your toes. I'm looking at my toes that are definitely not manicured right now. I'm a mama too, just trying to survive. So lift your shoulders up, breathe through the nose, embrace the shakes. Starting to feel warm, hopefully. Almost there. Good job. So now we want to roll over onto our bellies onto your forearms. It's a spinal articulation. Curl your toes under, look down at the belly where you lift the hips up. So you come to almost a low plank and then inhale, arch, look your head up. Inhale, round the spine, really round. Pull the belly in, look towards your belly. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round, pull the belly in. Lift your hips up, look down. Inhale, arch, open the chest, exhale, round, 
pull the belly in, activate the core, pull it in, inhale. Knees burn, exhale. Inhale. Two more, let's just do two more. We'll go right into the next bit. And one more. Exhale. Good, roll on your side. Knees stacked, lift your hips up so we're in a side plank, then lift the top leg, keeping the knees bent, lower down. So it's up, hold, lower down. Activating the obliques, closest to the ground, our elbows directly underneath the shoulder, and we're abducting away from the body. So the leg is lifting. Keep your neck, your head aligned with your neck, so don't crank it up here. Just keep it long. Down and up. Sometimes I like to touch the obliques here and make sure they're really engaging. Breathe through your nose nice and slow and hold in a contraction, a brace in the core the whole time. Yeah, keep it nice and tight. Good job, let's switch to the other side. You're doing great. Same thing, other side. Lift and lower. So make any adjustments you need to. You can touch the obliques. The legs lifting away, so we're just getting a little bit of an added abduction, so away from the body, working the glute med. This is a really good one to do, maybe like a band on your legs, if you have that kind of equipment, if you want it to level it up. You can even extend your leg out. You can kind of play around with all these exercises if you do this again. Feel those obliques. Yes, wonderful job. All right, so now we're gonna lay on our back. Legs that stand out wide, arms that stand out wide, like a star. So we're gonna reach up, opposite arm, opposite leg, and lower down. When you reach up, I want you to think about pulling your pelvic floor up and pulling your ribs down. When you lift up, exhale. And that'll kind of help everything come in towards the center. So exhale, pelvic floor up, ribs down. Get all that breath out, inhale to stretch. Exhale to lift up, inhale to stretch. And we're just going side to side. Doesn't really matter how high you go. All right, so there's one more exercise, and that is our bird dog. So we're getting on all fours. We're going to reach out and away. Hold for a second, so really lock it in place. Come back to center, inhale, and then exhale. Reach it out and away, opposite side. Hold for a second, and then go back and forth. Inhaling in center, exhaling, reaching, squeezing the glutes here as well. Inhale, center, exhale, reach, squeeze the glutes. Just keep that going. It's getting a little more into some balance, which is awesome. This is great for your low back, strengthening the back of the body. Ooh, we're done. Nice job, y'all. Thanks for doing the circuit with me. If you want to connect with me, coach with me, work with me, I have three different ways you can get connected. I offer a breathing course uh, for wellness coaching and personal training for via the kickoff app. So if you're interested in working with me, go ahead and follow the links below. Other than that, do this exercise again and give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys. Bye.